Hi, I'm Jordi Jopitas. I'm 32 and I'm retired. Equity investing is both my passion and profession. I have created a method of investing in the share market based on ultra diversification of stocks, which means I may be holding up to 100 stocks at any point of time. This portfolio has helped me beat the general indices like Sensex, Nifty 50, Nifty Junior, or by almost by around 22 percentage in average over the last 220 days in spite of the humongous crash that we have started seeing in March 2020. I have named this portfolio as an anthem. My thoughts especially on equity investing is communicated through my Twitter handle an anthem in equity which currently is fast approaching 10,000 followers. An Anthem is a name that represents my immense and deep devotion towards businesses and equity like a religious anthem. An Anthem is also Anandam in equity and Anandam in equity for me. While I was in my 10th standard, I was gifted a book named Rich Dad Poor Dad to me by a friend. This book changed my thought pattern forever. As soon as I reached the age of 18, I invested 20,000 rupees which my father gifted to me for investing in equity markets. Within three years, my portfolio was down by 70 percentage. Rupees 20,000 had become rupees 6,000. However, I was fortunate enough to make my first loss in equity when I was a student because I didn't have much to lose then. You can afford to lose easily at a young age. Another benefit of young age that a young man can harness is the eighth wonder of the world called compounding. The simple formula of A is equal to P into 1 plus R the whole raised to N is a formula that we have all learned while at school but we forgot to apply in our lives. Let me explain. If one is invested in companies growing at 26% for 10 years, he will see his wealth doubled in every three years, which is effectively 10 times, which is effectively 10 times in 10 years. That is, if one invests rupees 1 million in a stock that grows at 26% at the age of 20, he will see his wealth growing to 10 million by 30, to 100 million by 40, and to a billion by 50. The younger one starts, the lesser one loses, and the more he learns and compounds. I kept on reading and thinking about how businesses work and what makes them grow. I wanted to know the success factors behind becoming an investor. I came close with the ideas of the greats in equity investing such as Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Ray Dalio, Philip Fisher, Peter Lynch, etc. through their books. Reading good books is probably one of the most important requirements for becoming a good investor. If you are not passionate about reading, then you are not fit for becoming a successful investor in equity. In 2012, I joined a PSU bank. By that time, I was married too. I was not happy in my stint as an employee because I found very less time to read and think while I was there. In 2013, I left the job to join my family business that was into LPG distribution. That helped me in my journey towards becoming an investor. I believe that only a good businessman can become a good investor and a good investor can become a good businessman. Being able to read and think are the greatest and most important raw materials needed for becoming an investor in addition to time and capital. I used all social media platforms available in getting to know real good investors and traders across the world. From 2013 onwards, I traveled across India to meet real good investors and understand their thought patterns. In 2015, while studying at IAM Code Code, I decided that I was going to focus on equity alone. I had to say no to some really good offers soon after I passed out from there because Time was extremely precious for me. I simply was not in a position to take my time off for any other job. 
I am very happy and lucky to be in the profession that complemented my behavioral traits, personality, strengths and weaknesses. We all must be asking ourselves, what is it that I am really good in? And most importantly, we should be asking ourselves, what is it that I am really bad in? I knew that I was really good in applying my mind in analytical thinking, in mathematical approach, etc. I also knew that I was not a very good communicator or an orator. It took me some time to finally understand that I was going to make a living through investing and studying the best companies and best business leaders of the world. In stock market as well as in life, it is very important to take the right decisions at the right time. Stock investor should know something about everything and everything about something. It is quite important to have multidisciplinary thinking in this field. One quality that I am really proud about myself is my affinity towards learning multiple things. I have been reading 6 to 8 hours a day for the last 14 years, primarily in business and finance fields. This amounts to more than 25,000 plus hours of reading by now. I also have multiple interests in the fields like singing, acting, traveling, driving, etc. I am able to pursue these passions as well because of the best luxury asset that I have, time. Time is the greatest asset and luxury that one can have. All of us are gifted with various talents. However, we don't pursue it primarily due to financial constraints. As of now, I am an equity investor who manages my assets alone. However, not in the distant future, I intend to use my learnings for the use of people to help them achieve financial freedom so that they will be able to do what they are naturally gifted with in their lives without worrying about their financial positions. To be a successful investor, one should master his emotions. One should not try to copy another successful investor because there may not be a behavioral and personality thing between you and that investor. You must find your own style of investing that suits your, your personality and behavior. That is key for long-term success in investing. All the information that we store in our brain will form our personality and they will help us take the right decisions in the right time. This is what stock investing and life is all about. Thank you.